Hello, what's up, and how do you do? My name is Casham, and we're going to do a vlog number one here. We're going to talk about the basically Legion as a whole, but more just like Marksman, Beastmaster, and Survival Hunter. Obviously, there's Demon Hunters as well, but we'll just call the originals Hunter, and the new ones will go with Demon Hunter or DH. But anyway, um, we're going to talk about a few things that I hate about the hunter and a few things that I like or see as a possible benefit in specific situations like how viable we are for PvE or how viable we are for PvP. Are we viable for one but not the other one? Or are we only mediocre for one and excellent in the other one? But right now as is, as you've been able to see through it, let's go ahead and log into the game here. As you've probably noticed playing your hunter or other hunters, we're we're almost in a situation right now that we are kind of forced to be hunt hards. Um, if, you, if you're if you a real try hard and you, you position yourself perfectly every time, you communicate with the tank and tell them, hey, you know, pull as much as you can. And when you do pull it and you can't pull any more than that, you've reached your, your max capabilities, then that's great. But please pull the shit back to us and then as a hunter you also have to remember that you need to let the tank know that when you're going through these dungeons don't for the love of god don't leave it you've got 45 50 yard range depending on how much you've stacked in mastery or whatever but let's just go in and look at my stats i haven't got the greatest gear or the best gear but i do have some hellaciously good range so let's let's look at it from uh a range standpoint because this is one of the biggest problems that we have right now we're pulling shit through floors through walls through i mean we're pulling from every direction <clears throat> so when you go on excuse me so when you go on the test dummies i try to set it up to where i can figure out and get an estimate and get used to how far i actually have to stand so when you're going by you'll try to sneak past a couple of mobs that are moving around you know wait for a second okay it, it moved away an inch we can sneak by sometimes you might have to ask the tank to not do that don't don't do that so we'll we'll gauge it right off of this target right here this bottom one and as you can see this one's about a yard behind that and that one's not quite a yard behind and this one's going to be a yard or two off to the side in wow measurements obviously <clears throat> so let's get back here okay now right here i couldn't shoot that target but right there i can so if i get it just to where i'm just barely able to do it here's the problem okay now that's the only target i hit right there there now if this was a monster here and everybody snuck up here just past where that monster is going to be able to see us all and i have to get this close if I get this close and hit barrage and there's a monster over here and we're just tanking here but not that one there, you know, it'd be a little bit further back than that. I'm going to not only pull this one, this one, this one, but I'm possibly going to be starting to pull that one over here. Okay, now I can hit that target, but it's not in line of sight. I mean, it's got the, the building's edge in there. So... It, there for a while it was literally pulling and shooting through everything see now I'm, I'm line of sight with it but there's a tree there I mean I can shoot through walls with it I can if you LOS me through some stuff I can shoot through stuff that normally would have been a, a line of sight issue so we have to be really careful because we're able to shoot through more shit now than we ever have but if you like I say get this far away here's the problem yeah, I'll shoot that, and now I'll shoot that. And as you can see, it it didn't hit everything over there. So I have to move up this close to it in order to do that. Now all of a sudden I'm hitting shit way over here. Which is fine, but now when I hit barrage again, I'm only hitting these because I'm holding my range. I'm not hitting that target anymore. So that's maximizing my range. But if the tank didn't grab this, these two monsters over here, and they they wander a bit too close i'll end up aggroing them i'll pull them to me they'll end up on me so ask him to grab that monster and grab these monsters as well and not try to skip or 
try to stay out of it. Don't worry about it. Get yourself some abilities to, in, on the fly, switch your talents or whatever. Don't use that. Just try not to use that. Try to stay off to the side of the best you can. But the problem is, is even this, as you can see, I'm hitting there, and it's hitting clear over here. That's a problem. So we're stuck with just spamming this crap and this crap. But another thing you can do, I've noticed, right now I'm, I'm, um, and the feign death has been bugged as hell. But you can also go into your talent tree, remove this, and remove this. And use this to get through the trash for a while or whatever through bad areas. Just nab that out, nab that out real quick, and then you're good. You can buy the, the resets on the fly. They're a little expensive, but as time goes on, it'll be better and better. I fucking hate your guts. I hate people with those fucking stupid-ass loud mounts. Jesus Christ, Blizzard, fix your shit. That's my fucking one of the other things, is, is just stupid, pointless shit like that. Extremely loud, stomping fucking pets because some idiot thinks it's fucking funny. But anyway, the arcane shot will proc that just the same but not on everything as you can see I can still do huge damage now if I wanted to do that in a burst fashion I just hit and then pump them back and forth still great single target I didn't throw murder crows on there but it's still as you can see back and forth I'm pumping out a lot of damage and I'm not doing huge Oop, I did it twice on that and then I can sneak in a couple of these in the middle of it, get a couple of, uh, you know, get it up there. Still good damage. But that's the thing. I mean, I can sneak in a shot here when that one doesn't work. Throw that out. Throw that out. Toss a couple of these. It'll build it up. Oh, waited too long for it. There we go. Now we'll do a toss out a couple of these. A couple of that. Proc, proc, proc. But as you can see, my damage isn't, my DPS isn't going to be the greatest. And then as soon as you're heading on to the next mob, you're not going to be in that situation. You'll learn the dungeons as you go. Then just do another on the fly, quick fucking change. Bam, bam, you're right back to it. But let's leave it on this here for a second. And we're going to bring this shot into it. And we're going to bring Murder of Crows into it. And we're going to reset this. And we're going to see what kind of DPS we can pull. Because this is going to be trashy. We still want to help. We still want to do what we can. But we can literally... That's not the right button. We can literally go through and burst down the smaller guys really quick. So they're not worrying about the lower health ones. And then target the, the higher health afterwards and just bust down the little shit. Because sometimes just getting rid of the little shit helps anyway. In my opinion. You can have your own opinion on that. I don't care. But, bam. 300,000 off of that. Murder of Crows. And that's all we're going to do. It's those two things right there. Murder of Crows and that. And I'm holding 74,000 DPS right now. Just off of Murder of Crows and tossing that massive shot out. The piercing shot. <clears throat> a powerful shot. Which deals up to... 429,044 physical damage to the target and up to 214,522 physical damage to all enemies between you and the target. So you don't want to shoot that target. You'd want to line up the targets movement off to the side just a bit and be selected on that target. And then, bam. There you go. So it, it's a hard hitter, bit of a cool, much of a cool down. But, we can be tossing these out as well on top of that. And our DPS isn't the greatest, but we're still holding excellent DPS. It's still great single target without worrying about pulling anything. But like I say, the DPS of it is a little bit lower than what I would like. In PvP, it doesn't really work at all. In PvE, it it kind of it's kind of viable is if it's not going to cause you all to die because then well there's really no point in having it at that point if it's just going to kill everybody in the group. Okay, now that's the first thing I, I'm hating about it. Murder crows is huge damage, 
it doesn't seem like it is, but it is. So one thing I believe that they could do to fix that is make it to where murder of crows spreads to surrounding targets for like 50% or whatever barrage is. Because, I mean, barrage is barrage rapidly fires a spray of shots for 2.7 seconds, dealing 365,000 physical damage to the target and additional 120, 182,000. You could do that exact same thing with Murder of Crows. Literally, you could do the exact same, put them on the same cooldown, 20 second cooldown, one minute cooldown, make them both 20 seconds, make them both do, this one does 365,000, but this one does 849. Make them do the same amount of damage, make them and this one spreads to other targets so as soon as i pop murder of crows on that target instead of it just staying there as soon as they hit make them flap out do a swoop out motion just in the surrounding area not a huge ginormous and damage other targets for half of the damage it does there or make it exactly the same as this goes 365 to 182 so instead of a wide spread, the crows actually attack other targets on their way out. And then make it to where it has a higher chance on hitting a second target to proc a instant aim shots. Then we don't have to worry about it. We can just tap back and forth on this, get a couple of these instants in there. 601,000 on that. I mean, that though a lot of those will make up for the lack of whatever's on there. But sometimes you don't need to do a lot of damage in order to be viable. Like you'll go into a, a battleground and you will be like, oh my god, hunters are completely overpowered. They're doing huge, huge, huge damage. I'm really not. Because you got to remember, I'm shooting you. I'm shooting your sister. I'm shooting your uncle. I'm shooting his dog. I'm shooting the cat. I'm shooting the fucking squirrel that was there. I'm shooting the sheep that was in the middle of there. Anything that can take damage by me is being shot. I'm hitting everything. So really, if I if I go into a uh, battleground and I pull out three million, you're like, oh man, hunters have huge burst. Yeah, because I shot you, I shot your pet, I shot the warlock, I shot the warlock's pet, I shot everything in the arena. So only uh, you cocksucker and your stupid fucking pets. wrote you instead of your but whatever he can go suck a fucking nut I hate people like that shit fuck that drives me nuts do you imagine having to go through a fucking raid with a cocksucker like that the entire time you're in there you have to have the sound off because there's six hunters in there with, with four billion fucking fat pets fucking Christ I guarantee you if it was my raid group they'd never fucking come in again ever they could be the most fucking OP player on the planet I'd never let them in again that's how fucking bad that irritates me there's probably a button that turns that sh fucking horrible sound off, and I just don't know where it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that tr that's my trigger right there is a fucking hunt hard with a loud fucking stupid ass pet. But BM is also another a complete viable option. Okay, now there is some type of a catch up system to where you can go to BM, MM, switch between the two of them, but the catch up system is fucking garbage. <laughs> Because of how many points it takes to put points in the artifact weapon as deep as you'd need to go into the tree. You could build BM and then make an uh, MM your alt because you don't need as much as a BM or as an MM to be viable Redeems like you do traveler. with the mark or with the BM. Less for MM, more points for BM to get that huge damage. Now also don't forget as a hunter to come back here and talk to Smelly here. Lord and Legends. Okay, now Thunderhorn here. You give him a few resources and he'll do your artifact research. Begin additional research on your artifact weapons. Resulting knowledge will increase the rate at which you gain artifact power, which is kind of misleading. It doesn't just like passively give you shit. What it does is it will give you. What do you need? Make sure you're select on these. Allows you to place work orders for camp companion armaments or equipment in exchange for order resources. 
and that that's what we have we had to go through the research to get it as soon as you select that one it doesn't automatically give you and i haven't even unlocked the rest of this shit Ten thousand order resources fuck Light twelve thousand i'm not even anywhere near that instead of giving more content they give a little bit and made it grindy as fuck and now people are like oh you ask for more content no i ask for content not more grind for stupid shit but anyway in here this is just a bumblefuck mess to me <clears throat> anyway this tree is not near as important for mm as it is for beastmaster it's still important but it's not as important so i would recommend putting a lot of points into beastmaster and then into mm because mm doesn't require as much marksman doesn't need as many points in here as beastmaster does i'll switch over to beastmaster and show you that okay so with beastmaster i have shitty pets with him <clears throat> on this too and on my other hunter i farmed up a bunch of them in the past okay anyway i'll just pull out my chicken here got me a toidle to go into this with with him with the ugly ass weapon you'll have the ability to build an aoe build but once you get into here like even going into your first one here increase the damage dealt by your dire beast by 12 percent that's a big one um haiti will now fight fight for you as a companion that's an instant big one Increased damage dealt by multi-shot by 20%. That's a decent one. I have multi-shot one in there. That's why there's four points in that. But then once I put 375 in here, kill command heals you for 15% of damage dealt. So that's a great healing. But once you get here, Haiti also benefits from Bestial Wrath and Beast Cleave. Beast Cleave is your AoE hit for your pets. Don't forget that which is a that's how you get your aoe damage in dungeons and which is way more controllable than barrage and deals damage from kill command so you're going to go from like 175,000 to 300,000 on kill commands that's where you're going to get that one this is another one but this one right here is another great one marksman doesn't really have great anything and these they're okay but they're not like they're not what makes the character or the class the class. A lot of people think BM sucks because they don't realize they have to go this far into the tree. When you use multi-shot, Titan Strike has a chance to discharge an electrical current at your or at a pet's location, causing an explosion of electricity that deals 37,000 nature damage to all nearby enemies. That's going to boost your... Maybe not tons, but that's going to boost your AoE damage. And then this right here discharges a massive jolt of electricity from Titan Strike into all your pets and dire beasts, causing them to deal up to 15,300 nature damage to their target every one second for eight seconds. Now, that one's going to be a huge one, but it's only going to be more of a single target thing. But if you pop out your dire beast here, you'll have three at a time at least three you can also have as many as four at a time stampede that's why they changed stampede is so they could add something like this could you imagine that shit on with stampede that'd be overpowered it'd be broken as hell but basically you're going to have fifteen thousand for eight seconds but it's going to be fifteen thousand per pet you'll have three so fifteen thousand times three times eight and that's approximately the damage capability you're going to have on single target so it's going to be a huge boost to your single target anytime that procs. Again, more proc RNG. But either way, right now my kill command is is pathetic. I can hit like 170,000 on my kill command. My barrage is horrible. But I can hit about 170,000 the pets. I really wish there was a way to mute hunter pets. Because that's fucking annoying. Listening to that shit as a tank the whole goddamn time would suck. After a while, you'd want to kill the hunter, but with the, especially with the wolf always howling and making the lightning sounds and shit like that constantly. The only lightning sound I like is from classes that actually make like a thunderbolt fucking lightning strike strike sound, not just random weird lightning wolf shit. But that's pretty much all we have today. A little bit of ranting, a little bit of going on and on about it. But these are the things I've picked up. We'll go a little further into it later on and maybe explore a few things further into it. But for right now, I have almost nothing in there. So I've got a 799 item level. If I switch over to Master, I actually, or to Survival, which I don't even play, I'll actually have a higher item level, which boggles my mind. 
But right now I need to go get up my artifact weapon a bit. For marksman, I also needed to start building my um, beastmaster. I should have started with beastmaster because, like I say, there's far less reason to go deep in the tree as a marksman than there is that. I mean, I'll get neat stuff like when your mark shot, shot Theosdora, which is a dumbass name for a weapon, has a chance to call forth a barrage of wind arrows to strike all vulnerable targets. That's another burst thing, and that's great, but is it going to be just as shitty as barrages and pull everything in the map, which is something I have to pray to God doesn't proc? I don't know. I haven't got that far into the tree. Maybe I'll look into it and see if it does or whatever, and we can put that in the second vlog. But for now, don't forget to be out there doing your world quest, picking up your order resources. You'll need those. The reason why you need those, and lots and lots of those, is as you unlock curse these... curse grants us strength. Please stop fucking with the voices in this game. Fuck. Anyway, I have this piece. I went, made it from right here. I took it from its level. I went from 8, what, 5 to 810. Now I need to go from 810 to 820 with this piece. But that's 2,000 resources. I've got two left. <laughs> I've used them all. So make sure you're picking up those, doing all those. That's I need to catch up on that. I didn't realize that this gear was here until I decided I wanted to sell... Until I wanted, I decided, I've really got to shut the fucking Good sound day. off in here. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I'll adjust that. I'll maybe get an add on that mutes fucking hunter pets. Jesus Christ. But you want to build up all this reputation. Because a lot of this, you've got an 840 piece here. 820 piece there. Uh, 830 piece. 840 piece. 820 piece. 810 that you can make 820, 810 that you can make 820. And then you have an 850 piece. So if you work hard on getting exalted with this, which would only take a few days, you could jump to a, what, 830 average item level? Maybe, at least that. And then watch out for, to make sure you're, the stupid shit you add for your weapon. You've got to do that or your item level, your weapon won't go up. You need these to be high and that's what's going to give you your item level. And I need to get this unlocked so I can have that. Maybe later on they'll implement something where you can just trade the points over. But as far as I can tell, that's a, a, going to be a no permanent. But I always try to go through even if I'm not going to pick anything up with my tune and make sure that I'm not going to be able to get a piece to put in my bow because the item level of it's complete garbage right now. But anyway, just go through these, watch out for that. Sometimes they'll pop up, rings, things like that. That's another thing I need to have boosted up. My rings, my trinkets here, them are okay, but the rings aren't. This is okay, I need to boost that up another 10. My back is fine. Most everything I have is, is well over 800. So we're re doing really good with all that. But anyway, maybe we'll do some dungeons and stuff like that, and I'll show you some in the next vlog, and I'll show you some ways that I've found that help me not pull everything in the map and I will definitely see you guys in the next vlog and I hope you enjoyed this if you did then well you know leave a comment leave a thumbs up do whatever you want to do if you just liked it hell maybe you just want to come back and watch another one without doing the thumbs up shit but this is me signing out and I appreciate it my name is Cashim if I didn't already mention that or you didn't wasn't able to see it in the video but I will see you guys in the next one thanks for stopping by